رسول اللہ رسول اللہ رسول اللہ حبیب اللہ حبیب اللہ رسول اللہ رسول اللہ رسول اللہ حبیب اللہ حبیب اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم in the name of Allah the most beneficent and the most merciful Respected seniors and their colleagues, Assalamu Alaikum. Today we are gathered here to celebrate the day of Muhammad, the prophet of peace and mercy. If greatness of purpose, smallness of means, and astonishing results are the three criteria of human genius, who could dare compare any great man in the history with Muhammad? Philosopher, orator, apostle, legislator, Conqueror of ideas, restorer of rational beliefs, the founder of 20 terrestrial empires, and of one spiritual empire, that is Muhammad. As regards all standards by which human greatness may be measured, we may well ask, is there any man greater than him? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, established a society more free from prevalent cruelty and social tyranny than any society that has ever been in the world before. The peaceful atmosphere is required for the spiritual and moral progress of an individual. A good society can be developed in the atmosphere of peace. Islam does not permit rampant violence, but nowadays there is a considerable, considerable prejudice against Muslims, and they are viewed with suspicion. This is because a handful people are killing innocent people around the world in the name of Islam and with the slogan, Allahu Akbar. Islam is the religion of peace. Personal peace can be attained by totally submitting oneself to God. As Allah says in Holy Quran, and we were ordered to submit to the Lord of the worlds. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, was described as Rahmatul Lil Alameen, mercy for the entire universe. In his conduct, he was tolerant, ever merciful, and forgiving. He signed treaties of peace with Jews and infidels. Now, it is time for Muslim societies and governments to disown these takfiris extremists who are killing Muslims and non-Muslims equally. They are destroying mosques, holy shrines, schools, churches, and even markets. There is a need of dialogue and understanding and compromise. There must also be tolerance and flexibility. However, human experience shows that peace can be durable only if it is based on justice and fair play. We should always keep in front of us the saying of our beloved Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. You will not enter paradise until you have faith, and you will not complete your faith till you love one another. So, as a follower of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, prophet of mercy and peace, we have to discover higher standards of social values by developing virtual and universal spirit and cooperation towards others. If the true understanding of the Islam is effectively spread, a broad-minded and tolerant Muslim society can be charted out. The lives of Muslims should represent the true essence of Islam, that can connect with the rest of the world, that promote peace for all. I would like to finish my speech on this hadith. Kindness is a mark of faith, and whoever has not kindness has not faith. Thank you.